Hey everyone, this is Ruan. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are talking about advanced market research and competitive landscape. So um, basically the goal of today's video at the end is I'm going to show you a pretty advanced way of using AI to do predictive outcomes in search engine marketing, SEO, and really anything that you're doing with digital marketing. This is going to be the way for you to assess a local marketplace and give your team or yourself or the client or your own business exactly what it is you need to do to outrank the competition. Because as you know, that could mean thousands, if not millions of new dollars to a business. It could mean increasing your competitive ability. And if you're an agency, it could mean higher retainer fees, etc. So the tool we're going to be using in this video is called Splashdash. If you've seen my previous videos, you know what this tool does. If you don't know what this tool does, I highly recommend you get on the beta right now. You can go to the website and you can click on get on waitlist and then you can put in your information and we'll notify you of product updates and when it's going to come out. But this is mainly the tool that we're going to use on top of ChatGPT today to create these predictive outcomes. So the way that it works is you can at symbol uh, different integrations that we have available. So for example, one of them is keywords. This integration allows you to gather keyword data, analyze multiple terms at once, analyze domains, and then let's say I wanted to show you domains, I can also do that. And this one is going to allow you to scan domains, gain, gain domain authority, spam scores, anchor text, you can analyze links, link history, domain rating, identify broken links, right? So there's all these wonderful, really, really great SEO tools built in. But the way that I'm going to start this conversation with this AI agent is I'm going to go ahead and type in search. And what this tool allows me to do is it allows me to gather map data, find businesses, find top search results, and summarize videos. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to ask it to provide me with the top five roofing companies near my town. We have a client that we're working with in this local area, and really my objective with this video at the end of it is to see exactly what I need to tell my team to do to generate them more meaningful business results. So this integration search is gonna allow me to go find the Google search results, and then it's gonna return that information. So as you can see, when you prompt it, just like a normal prompt in AI, the only difference is, is this one this time is going to actually type in the query for you. And then it's going to give you a number of five and then it's going to give you a location. So now let's confirm and see exactly what we get back from the actual AI. And the reason why I'm doing this is I'm building context. Always when you're using artificial intelligence, your goal is building context so that at the end, whatever you request from the AI is going to give you a much better answer than if you would have not have requested it. So as you can see, these are the top five businesses in that area at that location. So we have Valley Roofing, five star rating, total of 31 reviews, their website URL, three years in business. And then you have kind of all of these other businesses as well here. So let's say in this case scenario, City Roofing and Siding is our client. Um, and so we wanna make sure that we're comparing City Roofing and Siding with all of the things that we're gonna do in the near future. So if this was our prospective client, or if this is the customer that we wanted to begin working with, I'm gonna use them as an example of how we would go ahead and do this. So now that we have our little framework laid out, we have their competitive landscape, we understand who's in that area and we understand how long they've been in business and we've reviewed this information. Now what I can do is I can switch to actually go to domains. So now instead of search, I can now switch to start doing domain tasks. And so the first task that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have it provide me with domain analysis of each website showing me their domain authority, page authority, spam, and then I want it to compare them. So at scale, now what I'm doing is I'm calling on a different API. In this case scenario, it's Moz, which is a really, really high quality advanced domain analysis API. And it's gonna take all of their URLs, it's gonna put it in a target bracket, and then I'm gonna confirm, and what that's gonna do is it's going to analyze all of those domains together. So remember, city plumbing or city roofing and siding is our client. So you can see here that based on this data, we can quickly see that City Roofing has a domain authority of 14. They have the highest page authority. They have one spam score. And you can see the one with the highest domain authority is Valley Roofing. So already by looking at this data, that's probably going to be our most likely competitor if we want to rank for terms like roofing near me, roofing near Southington, et cetera, which are the money terms. So then it's going to give me some comparison summary. All of this information 
is gonna be really important for when we send the client an email pitch towards the end, or if we're working with the client, this is gonna be critical information for our SEO team to know. So if they, they start working on this project, they can actually start to get a clear understanding of how this is gonna work. So now that I have clear domain information, domain authority and things like that, I'm gonna switch this over to SEO. And SEO is going to allow me to basically analyze each domain's organic performance, including the amount of visitors that go to the website and the total amount of keywords that each domain is ranking for. So let's go ahead and analyze each of those domains and then we can see what that information is gonna pull back. So once again, Splashdash, which is the tool inside of ChatGPT, wants to communicate with our code base and that's going to basically go one by one to provide an analysis. So let's let that do its job. As you can see, it's starting with Valley Roofing, then it's moving over to Above the Rest, then it's moving over to City Roofing, which is our client, then it's moving over to uh, SRWCT, and then you can kind of see all of the different domain analysis for each domain. So um, just from a clear perspective here, you can see that our client actually has, let's say the highest organic keywords, not necessarily once beating them, and then they have the highest amount of organic traffic. As you can tell, this is a really low uh, organic traffic, so all of these clients could use SEO, honestly, um, but it's good to know that the comparison of analysis is here, and I can quickly see from an analysis um, who is doing best, and then it's gonna give me that summary as well one more time. So now I'm gonna go switch over from SEO, so I've gotten their SEO data, the organics, and I'm gonna to switch to backlinks because now I wanna figure out how many backlinks each of these URLs have so that I can quickly and predictively create an SEO plan that's gonna make sense. And um, kind of the goal with this is to create this contextual window so that at the end, when I create a project management pitch or I create an email pitch, it's all there. So once again, it's gonna do the domains one by one to effectively analyze each of the domains. So it's talked to that one for Valley Roofing, so we'll see what the backlinks are there. Um, then it did above the rest, now it's gonna do um, City Roofing and Siding, which is our technical hypothetical customer, uh, SRWCT, which is another business in that area, and then Northeast Roofing. So here's the backlink portfolio for each of those clients using data from Ahrefs, which is the main backlink data source that we use. So just by looking at this, um, you can see that uh, City Roofing and Siding has the most live, um, or I'm sorry, all-time backlinks. They don't have the most live though, above the rest is the most live, et cetera. So I can kind of see the gap of how many more links these websites are gonna have to acquire, or root domains might be a better metric to look at this. So I could have changed my prompt to be more to root domains because that's an available feature inside of Splashdash, but instead I chose backlinks. So now what I'm gonna do at the end here is I'm going to actually change my client because I can tell City Roofing and Siding already has some pretty good SEO going on. So instead what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tell uh, Splashdash that Valley Roofing is our hypothetical customer. So with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and take a prompt and just basically say, create a marketing plan for my client to outrank the competition. Let me just fix that. By showing my client how they stack up against the competition in reviews, domain authority, links, organic traffic, organic keywords, years in business. Then show my client exactly how much they will need to outcome, outcompete the top competitors in all categories. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna disclose who my client is and then I'm gonna prompt it. So now that there is a large contextual window, it's going to give me my client's information. It's going to compare it to all of the other companies in that area. It's gonna compare it to all of the different organic SEO experience, the years in business, and then it's gonna tell me everything that I need to do to increase this client's SEO performance to be above the competition. What an easy and really lucrative way to start pitching clients, to start working with your own project management team, to have clarity and clear ability to outrank by using advanced SEO in the search generative experience area. So let's read this information and see what we got because it's really good. So here's current standings. Just by looking at the data itself, it looks like our only competition that we're gonna have to beat is above the rest. So if I was pitching this client, my focus on reputation would be on above the rest roofing and siding. They have two, four more reviews than us. Then on domain authority, the only person that's beating us in this case scenario is actually no one. Valley Roofing is actually leading. So 
That doesn't mean I would slow down my link building process because City Roofing has a PA of 29 and above the rest has a higher page authority than we do. But that doesn't necessarily mean we want to slow down our link building process. We want to keep up with them in page authority. Then backlinks, um, we have, let's say, 59 active backlinks, which is a stark difference than 421 and 208. So link building, of course, is still going to be a really important process for Valley Roofing to remain competitive in their area if they want to rank for money terms like roofer near me, which obviously is a top keyword that many of these roofing businesses may want to consider. Think about this, right? One roof could mean $25,000 to these businesses. So it's absolutely in their best interest to get more backlinks from places that are going to link to them and generate them more domain authority. And with Splashdash as well, with the backlinks feature, you can find, for example, a gap analysis of which links are linking to the competition, but not necessarily linking to us. So we could find easy opportunities to generate backlinks that way. Then organic performance, Valley Roofing is a starch difference or stark difference from these two. So we wanna make sure that that is working as well. Valley Roofing has a stark difference in years of business. So that's something we also may wanna consider. City Roofing and Siding, their domain age is probably a lot older than Valley Roofing. So that's something that we may wanna to consider too when we're pitching our SEO. So then the plan to outrank the competition. The first one is achieve at least 50 reviews. So if I was pitching this customer, the first thing I would do is making sure that they're above all of these. Then I wanna increase my DA to 30. And the way to do that is acquiring high quality backlinks, but that is basically going through their backlink portfolio, seeing what they're missing, seeing if they're on all the right directories, creating high quality content to pitch to uh, different publishers to link to, or doing some sort of private blog network strategy where you're using trusted domains that you can use to link to your client. Hypothetically, you would use the reverse sink or swim model where you're getting an exact match domain, building authority on that one, and then linking it to your client for the exact keyword that you're looking to target. Then there's expanding the backlink portfolio. This is obviously something that we saw before. We want to get our backlinks up to 500. That would allow us to beat the competition in that local area. Then it's organic SEO performance, rank for 200 plus organic keywords and achieve at least 50 organic visitors per month. So that process would start with keyword research. Then we would optimize their existing content, improve the on-page SEO, and then of course, make sure the website's running really quickly. So to establish Valley Roofing as a trusted brand in the roofing industry, the strategy is clear. Highlight years of experience, share customer testimonials, case studies, engage local communities to get links. Here's the breakdown of what that might look like in a monthly uh, follow-up here. And that's kind of how we would track this going forward. So let's recap. We started by gathering local data of the different businesses in the area by using the search API. And this allowed us to talk to Google directly inside of our AI account and gather the information directly inside of our website. And this included the links that this business actually had or the different links that they had here. This website could use um, help too. I mean, we would design this much nicer. And then we have after that, I went ahead and prompted to get the different domain stats for each of them. This called on an integration called Moz, M-O-Z, and that gave us the company name, the domain authority, the page authority, the spam score, all listed out here, as you can see. Then we went ahead and got organic SEO performance using SEMrush, which is the tool of choice here. Then we got backlink performance. This tool of choice was Ahrefs. Then we created a marketing plan for Valley Roofing LLC, to actually generate them more business results. The beauty of artificial intelligence is, let's say I want to change that to my client to be above the best roofing. So I said, instead, do this with as the client. And now I can quickly change this information to adjust my pitch at scale. So if I was doing prospecting or I was doing, I was pitching people and I was doing this kind of stuff, this is exactly the kind of process that I would do to do this at scale. Your persuasion and your selling and the way that you get customers is going to be a lot more effective if you can present solid data. If you can't present solid data, it's gonna be very difficult for you to outrank a lot of the competition in the area. Now, let's say for example, I wanted to compare one client with another client, let's say a competitor was really gung-ho about one company. And then I would say, what would that look like? So if, if one client was gung-ho about one company, then you can just do one just like this and then get clear information of how to rank that exact competitor by using artificial intelligence, splash dash in one tool 
to be able to do this. So super exciting stuff. This is how advanced you can get with artificial intelligence, especially when you have access to the tools and resources to prepare you for the search generative experience era of AI, which we're calling AEO, Answer Engine Optimization, or Artificial Engine Optimization, Artificial Intelligence Optimization. All of this stuff can be done within one chat interface rather than visiting several tabs on a daily basis. So once again, if you're not there, I would definitely check out our website, go down the wait list, and once the tool is available, you'll be able to start using it pretty much unlimited. So thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.